trading or cautious trading uh, is the sentiment of the day as investors await the outcome of today's 108 billion uh, treasuries auction. Chukun Wachuku, head of ALM and balance sheet management at UBA, joins me now for market updates. Chuka, thank you so much. Pleasure to have you on the show today. Thank you, Esther. Well, all eyes on uh, the outcome of today's uh, NTB auction, 108 billion uh, this time uh, compared to, I believe it was 31 billion uh, Naira previously. And uh, it looks like there's an expectation of a higher rate uh, owing to the higher amount on offer. Uh, bring us up to speed what your expectations are. All right, thank you, Esther. Um, like you rightly mentioned, uh, over one, um, 108 billion will be on offer. The last. Um, uh, the, the last uh, auction, uh, we have uh, barely over 30 billion that was on offer. Um, the one year came out at uh, 9.25. Um, like you rightly mentioned, we expect to see um, uh, you know, this auction highly um, oversubscribed. Uh, we expect to also see a higher rate at this auction, probably maybe 150 or 200 basis points um, from the last um, auction um, rate. It came out at 9.25. Right. Uh, let's quickly talk about, we'll come back to that, but let's quickly talk about the bonds market. Uh, it was quiet uh, yesterday, and what we're hearing is that uh, it would appear that investors are uh, really looking forward to some policy direction from the fiscal authority, from the monetary authorities, uh, I beg your pardon, in terms of what they can expect on the horizon. We know a lot has been happening on the fiscal side, uh, with some of the reforms, especially on the FX side. Uh, but what would be good? What would investors, uh, what's top of mind, if I put it that way, for investors when it comes to the monetary authorities? I think you're absolutely right. The um, bond market has been quiet. Um, this is because um, we expect that. Um, uh, things will happen. Um, there will be a pronouncement, um, especially if at the upcoming uh, MPC meeting in November. So it is expected that a uh, high um, rate hike is expected. And so um, everyone is uh, cautious, especially the investors. Um, for example, the uh, last bond auction, the um, the longer end, which is the 2053, uh, printed at 16.6. Um, uh, um, it's currently trading about uh, 30 basis points from where it printed from, uh, that's about around the 16.9. Um, and then, uh, even still, we still experience some bearish sentiment. That is because um, most investors and most traders expect that uh, the yield will continue to go up, especially with what is happening in the inflation, at the inflation uh, end of the, um, of, of the economy. Right. Now, yesterday we did, although it was quiet, there was some uh, activity on the January 2026. Uh, did that happen today too? Um, we had some a bit of cherry picking on the January uh, and on the 2026, uh, especially the shorter end, the 2026 mm. and the 2027. Um, you know, it, it's it's safer um, or is more um, uh, advice, advisable or lucrative to you know to play on the shorter end of the bond, um, where you have um, over 15, I mean over 14 to 15 percent. Uh, um, yield than uh, just uh, play on the shorter end. I mean, on the longer okay. end of the on the uh, on the curve as well. Oh well, uh, let's cross over now to the FX market. The naira is still uh, trying to hold uh, its foot against the dollar, but we did see a weakening today, 847.7. Now, as you know, there have been news, uh, of course, developments in the FX space. There's that 10 billion that's somewhere on the horizon. Uh, the market is just, uh, rather the, on the, at the parallel market, things are just, you know, looking quite interesting at this time. But talk to us about what the market expects going forward. Uh, what happens in that time between uh, before the 10 billion does hit the market? Remember there was that pronouncement, the 3 billion from Afrexin Bank, that didn't particularly, that didn't exactly come through uh, to the market and uh, pressure continues. But uh, how is the market digesting this one this time? Um, the 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 FS market, um, you know, has been, um, you know, has been. I don't want to use the word stable in terms of rate because um, the rate has been within the um, um, seven seventy to um, currently trading around the eight forty seven point seven levels. So it's just within that uh, hundred basis point range. Um, however, there are a lot of things happening both on the fiscal side and on the. Um, on the monetary side as well, um, we've seen the pronouncement by the uh, the president um, yesterday um, during the economic summit meeting, uh, where he also indicated that the federal government is, you know, is heavily and uh, he personally is interested in what is happening on the on, on, on the FX front, and which is a good news. And that news obviously has also, you know, filtered into the market, and everybody is expectant on um, the 10 billion. Um, uh, 
you know, which the federal government, I mean, CBN is hoping to, you know, to, to redeem in the way of um, the forward. And so um, the market is generally is receptive, though yet um, nothing has come through yet. But I think that uh, the players have received this, um, you know, in a more positive uh, way as at against the last uh, pronouncements. All right, Shuka, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for bringing us up to speed. Uh, as always, we appreciate your time on the show. Chukan Wachuku, head of ALM and balance sheet at UBA, taking us through the fixed income and FX markets here in Nigeria.